Hi guys, in today's lecture we will study about the white blood cells. White blood cells are also called leukocytes. White blood cells are derived from the multipotent cells in the bone marrow known as hematopoietic stem cells. White blood cells are present at two places in the blood and in the lymphatic system. There is a certain classification of white blood, white blood cell is present. There are two types of white blood cells. First is granulocytes and second is agranulocytes. In granulocytes, there is a presence of granules and in agranulocytes, there is not presence of any, site of any sort of granules. Granulocytes are further, further subdivided into three types, neutrophils, basophils and eosinophils. Neutrophils are for the phagocytic response, while basophils are for the allergic response. They produce heparin, which is as a, which serves as anticoagulant, which, which is a natural anticoagulant present inside the blood. They, they produce histamine, which is basically a vasodilator. It dilates the blood vessels for the proper flow of the blood. And they, and they also, basophils are commonly present at the site, which is infected by the ectoparasites. There is a third type which is eosinophil and these are present basically at the allergic responses. Now uh, there, is a, there is another type of white blood cells which is agranulocytes. Agranulocytes are further subdivided into two types lymphocytes and monocytes. Lymphocytes are further subdivided into three types the, uh, that is B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes and natural killer cells. B lymphocytes is basic, are basically used for the humoral antibody driven adaptive immunity. T lymphocytes are basically for cell mediated toxic adaptive immunity while natural killer cells are basically termed as phagocytic cells and they are for cell mediated cytotoxic innate immunity. Monocytes are further differentiated into macrophages and they are for adaptive immunity. Now hematopoietic stem cells uh, are present here and they are classified as they have two types myeloid progenitors and lymphoid progenitors. Lymph myeloid progenitors are further subdivided into megakaryocytes, erythrocytes, mast cells and myeloblasts. Megakaryocytes are further differentiated into thrombocytes but as we are discussing the white blood cells we will study myeloblasts. Myeloblasts are further uh, subdivided into four types. Basophil, neutrophil, eosinophil, monocyte, monocytes which are further differentiated into macrophages. There is another type of cells, these are lymphoid progenitors. Lymphoid progenitors have two types, natural killer cells and small lymphocytes. Small lymphocytes are further subdivided into two types, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes are converted into plasma cells. So guys, it was the classification of white blood cells according to granulocytes and agranulocytes and by myeloid progenitor and lymphoid progenitor. Thank you. If you have any query, please click the bell button and please subscribe my channel.